Howdy do ladies and gentlemen, Omar here. Hope all is well in the world of you. First of all, sorry about the weird shot. I'm in the middle of packing, so the corner that I normally shoot in is just full of boxes and crap. Also, all the audio that you're gonna be hearing from my voice and from my guitar is captured on my iPad, which is what I'm shooting on. All my recording gear is packed away. In a week, I'm going on tour with one of my bands. We're called Dante Mattis and the Infernal Racket. We're gonna be driving from Toronto to Halifax and back, playing shows on the way there and back. Today I'm going to be working on my rig, just kind of fine-tuning the last pieces and really solidifying it, and I thought it'd be a cool opportunity to show you guys kind of what I'm going to be bringing on tour and why I chose the pieces of gear that I'm bringing. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I'm really pedal-centric, so obviously my pedal board is going to be a big part of this video. But let's start with the guitar in the end. that I'm going to be using is the Epiphone ES339 Pro. I have a video on the ES339. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description below. I got this guitar new about six or seven months ago, um, and I bought it new from Long McQuaid. When I bought it originally, there was a little bit of issues with the neck. It was a little warped, and I tried to fix it myself. I couldn't really get it to the level that I wanted, but with the purchase of the guitar, it came with a free setup. So I used that, and ever since I got it set up, it plays really well feels really sturdy. There is a Long McQuaid in virtually every city that we're stopping by, so if I ever have problems, I can just bring it in and it's under warranty still. So that's one of the big reasons why I'm bringing this guitar on tour. I'm using the Epiphone Valve Junior. I've done a video on this as well, and if you want to check that out, I'll put that in the description below. Obviously, there's only one knob on it, so it can be a little bit dark, and I have to kind of compensate that with my gain pedals. And we'll get to that in a second. There's two reasons that I'm bringing this amp on tour. Obviously, one, it's tiny, which is great. We're going to be traveling in an SUV, so having a small amp is going to be really helpful. Second reason is that I've got some really good sounds coming out of this. It sounds really great with the guitar, I find a lot of times if you have the same brand amp and guitar, they just kind of work together really well. And that's definitely the case with this amp and the 339. to the board. Um, you might recognize this board. I talk about this board a lot um, and it's a board that I use for my other band Sentry Thief and I've been in that band for a long time. That board's kind of a staple on this channel. So I've modified a few things that work better for this band as opposed to the other band. Uh, my signal path goes like this. I'm going straight into a buffer. That's the first thing I hit. From there I'm going into a volume pedal which is the Ernie Ball VP Junior. From there I'm going into the Polytune by TC Electronic into the Corona Chorus. Uh, I have a video on that, I'll link that. Um, into the Small Stone by Electric Harmonics. And then I kind of hit my gain stage down here. So uh, I'm using the Nano Big Muff by Electric Harmonics into the Mojo Mojo by TC Electronic. And then into the Dry Martini by Tone City. As I mentioned before, the Epiphone Valve Junior can tend to be a, a dark amp. So I always have one of these three pedals on. The Mojo Mojo is kind of my clean sound, so it's a little bit gamey, but I really crank the treble to kind of compensate that darkness. The Dry Martini is my main drive sound, my main distortion, and it's, it's an OCD clone. And then obviously the Big Muff is my fuzz. From the gain section, we're going into the 7-Up Octaver. Uh, I don't use it that much for this band, but it's nice to just have on as an option, just as a thickener. And from there, I'm going into the Alter Ego X4. This delay pedal is the coolest pedal that I have on this board. I love this pedal. From there, I'm going into the Chaka Tremolo. I was using the Electro Harmonix uh, Pulsar, the, the old big one, and I had it on the side of my board, but like I said, we're traveling in an SUV, so size really matters. So I went out and got this. It's only 70 bucks Canadian, so that's great. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, that's just about it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be doing a little vlog series. I'm bringing my iPad with me on tour so you can kind of follow us along the tour and see how it goes. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much guys. Cheers.